start with a point, zero dimensions. Many points make a line, one dimension. Do any one of these 1D lines pass through every possible point? No, other lines can be used to create a plane in two dimensions. From the second dimension, the third dimension is what you would jump through to instantaneously move from one position to another or to move to a completely different two-dimensional plane. Many planes make a space, three dimensions. Many frames of space make a world line, or some call this a Minkowski space, four dimensions. Do any one of these 4D world lines pass through every possible 3D frame? No. Other world lines can be used to create a probability plane in five dimensions. But for you and I, as creatures made out of 3D atoms and molecules, our 4D world line is constructed from 3D frames that are each one Planck unit apart, making the fifth dimension appear curled up at the Planck length from our perspective. But let's keep going. From the fifth dimension, the sixth dimension is what you would jump through to instantaneously move from one position to another or to move to a completely different five-dimensional plane. Many probability planes make a phase space representing all possible outcomes for a unique universe such as ours. Six dimensions. Many different phase spaces representing different unique universes make a line in seven dimensions. Do any one of these 7D lines pass through every possible 6D universe? No. Other lines can be used to create a phase plane of physical universes in eight dimensions. From the eighth dimension, the ninth dimension is what you would jump through to instantaneously move from one position to another, or to jump to a completely different eight-dimensional phase plane. Many phase planes make an information space, nine dimensions. By now, we are beyond the physical, dealing only with information patterns that describe general tendencies towards one kind of existence over another, or patterns that can't even be expressed as physical universes at all. And finally, perceiving of this 9D construct as a single ultimate ensemble takes our visualization to the 10th dimension, a single, timeless, everything in 10 dimensions.